Beast Rack Bobby Weppa. Guys, we're here in Brooklyn, baby. That's right. As you guys can see, we're here in Kingsboro Community College. You guys can see. Guys, today we're taking care of the boilers because we're entering the heating season, baby. That's right. So the boilers got to be clean and ready for the winter. So, guys, this is what we got to do. So this job is a little different because it's a commercial boiler. So it, exactly what it is, it's a firebox boiler. It's a boiler straight from Canada. So all the big shout out to all the Canadians out there. So we're working on a water tube boiler. So typically on a fire tube boiler, you're cleaning the inside of the tube. But this time we clean the surface area of the tube because the water is inside the tube. So we clean the surface area and we want to make sure that it's working efficiently. So guys, let's take this journey together. Let's go, baby. Weppa. me hit this so guys we're just about to get started right now to start cleaning these water two boilers um there are two canadian actually there are three boilers in total but we're cleaning two today and we're coming back to clean the third one in the next couple of days so guys just to give you a little insight what a water two boiler is basically it's just hot water going through a tube here in new york most of the boilers here the majority are usually fire two boiler all the difference is is fire is going through a tube or, or through the heat exchanger you like to call it but in this case, it's a water tube boiler, so it works a little different. So instead of cleaning inside the tube, we're gonna clean the outside surface area of the actual tube. And of course, we wanna make it more efficient and they burn less fuel. So guys, part of working on a commercial application is safety. So we wanna make sure that's fresh air inside the boiler, meaning sometimes you gotta put fresh air uh, pumping into the boiler. There's different ways of doing it. In this particular boiler, there's only one way to get in and one way to get out. So I always wanna make sure that, number one, is it gets hot in there. So Make sure that we have water on the side ready. Also, we have facial masks because we don't want nobody breathing in all those um, particles, especially soot. You don't want to fuck up your lungs, so that's super important. So, safety is first. PPE, that's the number one thing I would tell you guys to do first. So make sure they wear the suits or proper attire. So in this case, we got the suits, we got the mask. We do have a mask that is pumping oxygen into the actual mask because sometimes it gets very hot in there. So everybody's a little different. I always suggest to bring both. Some people like wearing the mask with the oxygen going into the mask or other people like using just a regular respirator. Either way, you want to protect your guy and you also want to protect yourself. Um, what else? Guys, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward um, as far as the cleaning is concerned. I'm going to show you in the video momentarily what it takes, what we have to do. Just got to be a little bit slim because I'm a little gordito, so I don't fit in there. You have to get somebody that fits in there because as you're going to see in the video, it's very, very, it's a confined space, basically. It's very narrow. But somebody got to do the job. We're doing the job. And hey, it is what it is, guys. So let's take the journey together. Let me show you the process right now. Whippa! Okay guys, I want to talk a little bit about the face mask that we're wearing right now. So guys, this face mask is a great respiratory mask, or we call it a respirator. It's a full face mask, you guys can see. However, sometimes when you're breathing, it fogs up the actual lens or the actual face shield. And also, in this case, he's breathing, but he has a little hard time breathing and it's also hot in there and he feels like he's hyperventilating. So, I give him the next mask. The next mask is the mask that is pumping oxygen inside the actual mask and it's separate, meaning it's a separate face piece, meaning it's a separate mask just for the for your nose and your mouth to breathe. And we have a separate set of goggles so he can see better and he's not fogging up his glasses. So guys, make that proper investment because most importantly, you want to protect your lungs, you want to protect your worker, his eyes, and most importantly, you need to see what the fuck you're doing, right? So stay tuned, guys. Webby. 